everyone. Welcome back to the Diabetic Diet Show. Today I want to talk to you about a, a new thing, something that I haven't seen before. It's called jicama, and it comes from Mexico or South America. You basically use it as a keto replacement for a potato. So what I did was I took the entire jicama and I cut it up into slices like this. So you want to cut them so they're just about like that they're, they're french fries. Then you want to put them in boiling water for about 10 minutes. I'm going to preheat the oven for about 425 degrees. I'm going to lay them out in this brand new pan that I bought. I just ordered this, so we'll consider this a review to test this new pan. However, just to be sure, I'm going to go to putting a piece of foil on it. Now, you have to peel the jicama with a potato peeler, and you're going to want to salt the water once it gets boiling. You're going to want to put a tablespoon of uh, salt in with the boiling water. I don't put the salt in the water until it's boiling. Somebody said it could pit your pan. Just a little bit more. Okay. Set that there for later. And for other ingredients, we're going to be using avocado oil that I'm going to sprinkle over them. I have paprika and cumin that I'm going to put on them as well. So I need to get these in the boiling water. Nice and careful. Just like that and then we'll just wait and let it boil. 10 minutes. We're down to the last few seconds on this been boiling. There we go. Now we'll pull these out of here. I think what I should do first is put them on a paper towel to dry them. So I'll put a paper towel here. I guess I can just do it right on top of the foil. Just like this. There we go. I don't smell anything. Maybe we will while they're cooking. Smell something. It's going to be real interesting to see how these taste. I understand if you crisp these up, they're just like potatoes, but they're totally keto friendly. And the oil, of course, is keto friendly. One more. Come out of the jacuzzi. Some more paper towels. As hot as they are, the steam is probably pulling the water off them. I'll still dry them a little bit. They seem to be rigid and they're not mushy. If there was any starch on them, the water would have boiled the starch off. So that's a good thing. It's pretty steamy though. Steaming like that. Let's see how I'm going to do this. Sometimes cooking is an adventure. 
especially if it's something you're making for the first time. Next time I make this, I'll be an expert. And we can lay them out here and kind of start to straighten them out and arrange them a little bit. They're hot. Now, you want to cook these in the oven for at least 15 minutes and then turn them over and then do another 15 or 20 minutes. You got to watch them to make sure that they get crisp but you have to watch them to make sure that they don't burn. According to what other people have said. So let's put some avocado oil on here. Then, let's do some smoked paprika. And some cumin. Here is your jicama. They're all cooling. They look so delicious. Still a little hot. Let's see if I can sneak one. Mm. Tastes really good. Well, I need to serve these up. This is my show for the day. Thanks for watching. Stop by again next time. And until then, goodbye for now.